Hello Collective, it is Show Love. Welcome to my channel, the Show Love Tarot. Let's clear the air. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm doing a collective reading today. And um, before we start, just uh, read the description and uh, click, uh, hit like and share and all that fun stuff and subscribe. Um, if this message uh, resonates with you at all. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, so we're going to get started, Collective. This is a Collective Read Tarot. Um, hmm, where do we begin? <laughs> the first uh, card that came out for this reading is uh, the sword, Ace of Swords in Reverse. Right out the gate, uh, we're looking at some uh, indecisiveness, uh, some confusion, um, heavy on the decisiveness. Some of you out there, uh, you know, this is a collect read, so I can <laughs> include myself in this as well. Uh, you're having some sort of indecisiveness about something, which is causing you, the next card out, um, is some insecurity. Um, this indecisiveness is coming from a lack of courage. I dare say the word uh, coward. I know that's a harsh word, but this reading, hmm, you know, starting out with a sword. <laughs> Air sign could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, could be dealing with the Leo. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fire. There's a lot of air in this reading. Um, and not a lot of cups. So let's go, you know, back to the needing of courage, uh, needing uh, confidence, needing to make a decision, right? Stop being indecisive about things, right? Um, and it's really uh, causing... Uh, this lack of courage is causing an, an injustice and, and an imbalance. You know, it's, it's almost like you, um, whatever you haven't been pursuing. I see this is because there's a lot of air and the and the card that uh, clarified the Ace of Swords was the um, Lovers. Look at that. It's one of my favorite cards, uh, this particular one, because it's so colorful and they just look so free and happy, just, you know, but <clears throat> this freedom here is what you're denying yourself with this uh, lack of courage and lack of movement, really, um, towards what it is that brings you joy, bring you passion. Um, this feels to me, looks to me, too, like a... Um, you know, maybe you're more of a, some of you are more of a head over heart type of person. Like you think more practical, you think about things, you know, um, you sort of deny yourself. To me, this is a denial. This injustice here is a denial of this for yourself, this love, this passion. And um, it's causing you some uh this indecisiveness is it, some type of insecurity in somewhere in your life maybe it's you know maybe it's uh your creative aspect maybe it's a partnership maybe it's um soulmate type of stuff this could be uh you could be dealing with the gemini um this is uh soulmate stuff so maybe this has to do with you know um following your 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 passion and your love and just being indecisive about it because, you know, we'll get to that, but it's just some indecisiveness about following your bliss. Maybe this will be the title of this reading. Let's follow your bliss and the money will come. Not just the money. I mean, because there's really, there's no, I see no coins <laughs> on this. Um, so this lets me know that, the, you know, this is something that's not grounded uh, something, you know, maybe you've been uh, daydreaming about it. Maybe it's been a fantasy of yours. Maybe it's been, you know, a dream job, a dream location where you want to live. Um, whatever it is, it's uh, the indecisiveness uh, and the lack of courage to pursue that is causing an imbalance in your life. It's causing you some uh, emotional insecurities. Um you know, making, making head over heart decisions, you know, something that you're passionate about 
something that, you know, um, I see some of you are just intuitive about it. Some of you are just, um, whatever it is that you're, uh, that you're seeking that you're, you're passionate about that you're denying yourself. Um, it is causing you some sort of like some of you, some of you, it looks like it's causing you some, uh, heavy depression. Uh, and I put it in quotes because I hate using that word. Um, but some, you know, like a melee or uh, apathy even, it, you know, maybe it's not so much a deep depression, but it's, you know, just apathy. You're just like, uh, just, you know, looking at your life like this, which clarify the insecure, the, uh, the insecure, the, the, uh, strength card in reverse was clarified by this it just looks like that you're looking out and you're just you know those ships are coming in but you're you know that you're still kind of in a uh, state of mind where it's like oh they're still so far away and i've been waiting for so long is this ever going to happen is it too late like there's some of you that see that may seem like that insecurity um maybe an age thing um you know you may may think that you have you know the the uh sun card in reverse another leo sign maybe you know your passion for what you have been doing you're no longer passionate about it maybe where you live maybe it's uh the people around you um because i see uh what clarified the sun um was six of cups in reverse and it's like what you have been doing, maybe this is like family members, maybe this is like people in your past, uh, people that you've been, you know, that you've uh, known long term. Um, there's something that's missing. And um, and it could be the support. Uh, maybe you don't have the people around you because I see here, like this may be something that you have been wanting to pursue for some, some time, but the, uh, you know, you haven't, you haven't made any moves towards it because, uh, it could be, you know, uh, you know, so like caring what people think, you know, it's just like, maybe your family don't, you know, maybe they don't approve or maybe your friends don't approve. And maybe, you know, the, the area that you grew up, maybe you need to leave where you grew, grew up. Maybe you need to like journey out into, you know, the world and see things from different perspective, or even, you know, just take a short trip because there's something about where you are now, whether it's your, your career or your life, or um, it, there's, there's a call for you to um, get in a different perspective and to take steps towards what it is that you're passionate about um, and, and what, the things that you love. Um, because I just see that there, there has been a stagnation here, like no movement. You haven't been moving at all towards what it is that brings you joy. And it's time to do that. And, uh, you know, that, that, um, indecisiveness and lack of movement, it's, it's not, um, bringing you any joy. It's not bringing you, it's sort of draining your energy wherever you are now. And it's time for that new beginning. It's time for it to take a start. It t it's time to move towards what it is that you um have been desiring there's a there's a deep uh need and a uh for a passion here i feel like and where you are right now like the things that are being offered to you you're just bored with that the four of cups you're just bored with where you are you know maybe <clears throat> maybe some of you are looking to go back to school maybe some of you are looking to go back to this the the hierophant Maybe you're looking for higher learning. Maybe you're looking to like, uh, you know, have a new skill, um, seek, um, seek advice on something. Maybe it's something, you know, maybe some of you are feeling, uh, down and out and, you know, uh, want to speak to someone about, um, the apathy or the depression that you have been feeling because there is some sort of sadness here that, um, you're trying to get away from uh that you're you're needing you wanting to come out of so that you can you know be illuminated you want you want something illuminated in your life this tent this the sun card in reverse it's it's like um it's a part of your your current situation that um that you're looking to start fresh in and it's really it's really it really comes down to uh trusting yourself the six of uh yeah six of wands in reverse 
um, you will be victorious. You will get where you're going, but it's going to take you trusting yourself. You trusting, you know, whatever decision that you make is going to be a right decision it's because it's going to get you unstuck. It's going, it's going to be a step. This, um, uh, nine of wands in reverse. It's like you haven't even taken a step forward. But trusting yourself and having faith and just forgetting all of, you know, the things in the past and how, you know, the, the, there could be, you know, some feelings for some of you. It's like, well, you know, I tried this before and it didn't work. You know, maybe it's in a relationship or maybe it's, you know, in, in some type of career or maybe it didn't work for someone else. And you're like, well, it didn't work for them. Then I can't, you know, so it's just not, you know, just letting all of that go. Letting it go, let it go. You know, it's just moving forward and just letting all those negative thoughts and inaction. There's a lot of inaction on this. Eight, eight of, uh, eight of wands in reverse. It's a lot of in, in inaction and, um, you know, need, you know, you needing to walk away from that and make a choice. Seven of cups. You gotta make a choice. Just, just pick. Just, 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 just pick. <laughs> Just pick and have faith. And that's when that passion comes rolling back in. Look at that. Nine of Cups. That passion starts coming in again. Right? And then you get that action. That movement starts. You know, it's time to end the uh, end the review and the, you know, what ifs. And just, you know, trying to think of every scenario. And, and trying to prepare yourself and all this stuff. You're never going to be fully prepared. Um, you're never going to have all the answers. It's never going to be, you know, um, fully laid out for you. You just have to take a step towards whatever it is. Maybe it's a better relationship. Maybe it's like for some of you, uh, some of you are seeking justice in the situation. And you're just, uh, it's like a feeling of, you know, being defeated before you start. Um, and, you know, trying to see how it's going to play out. Um, and those types of behaviors, those type of thought patterns are keeping you stuck and it, and it's rooted in, um, some insecurity. Um, that's understandable. It's, it's hard to, you know, once you've been stuck in a rut, that, that phrase stuck in a rut, um, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to get out of. And you just have to make a change. You Sometimes you have to cause a tower in your own life. It's, towers are okay. Towers are okay because towers get you unstuck. Um, towers, you know, create uh, action. And, you know, instead of just being indecisive about things, uh, being indecisive about, you know, <clears throat> what, you know, where do where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? <laughs> you know, um, and, and feeling like, um, you're missing out on life. These cars are, uh, just sort of asking, um, all of us, the collective to start engaging in life and stop worrying about, um, how things are going to play out or, you know, what others are going to think and, um, stop worrying about the money. I mean, you know, that phrase, Follow your bliss and the money will come. There's only one quality which one must possess to win, and that is definitiveness of purpose. The knowledge of what one wants and a burning desire to possess it. Uh, the burning desire to possess it is being blocked by the insecurity of it not working out in your favor. Um, and that is coming from an internal thing. There's nothing really on this card that says that you can't be the king of pinnacles and follow your bliss because you can. You can have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all. And be the king of pinnacles. Be that queen of pinnacles. And follow your bliss. Follow your passions, follow your hearts. It's that desire. That reading was from um, the book called Think and Grow Rich. I love this book. If you guys don't have this book, you should really get it by Napoleon Hill. Um, wonderful author. He has great books. And I highly recommend. But that 
this is what's missing here. And it's the, the, the desire to possess the life, the career, the relationship, the environment, the um, whatever it is, the desire for that. It's okay to desire it. It's okay. And pursuing it step by step, one step at a time, one step at a time, and you will get there. But taking that step will cause a tower in some way for some of you. It may cause a tower in, uh, you know, by going back to school, maybe your schedule is going to change. Maybe um, you're moving, so uh, you have to leave your job, um, or maybe you're starting a new career. But towers aren't all bad. Change is good. Follow your bliss. This is what this the collective. Follow your bliss, and everything else will follow. I promise you. Thank you so much, Collective. I've enjoyed doing this reading for you. I really have. Um, if you want to support the channel, please link, uh, like, uh, subscribe, <clears throat> and check out the links below. Until next time, take care.